What is going on everybody? It is Mark here with another video and today we are reviewing another app. We're going to be taking a look at another application that turns your tablet into a dual monitor. So let me rephrase that, tablet, not your iPad and I definitely didn't say just Mac. So turning your tablet, Android or iOS into a dual display for your Mac or PC. This, this is cross-platform thing is. So today we are going to be reviewing an application called Tumont USB. So that is T-W-O-M-O-N-U-S-B. So shout out to the guys and gals at Tumont USB for sponsoring this video. And I hope this goes without saying my opinions are my opinions. If the app sucks, I will tell you. So I have a few devices here that are gonna help me test out the app. The fact that it's cross-platform, which kind of takes it that much higher the price so this one is only going to be costing you around 13 14 bucks canadian so divide that by 1.37 and there's your us dollar price so i mean it's already got that over its competitors plus the features are a little bit more superior in my opinion from what i've seen online okay so for demonstration purposes i'm going to be using my ipad my computer, and my buddy's PC. Believe it or not, I was not able to find an Android tablet. First thing first is we gotta download the app. App Store, and it's as simple as typing in T-W-O-M-O-N-U-S-B, and there she is. So why don't we open her up and see what it is. So as I'm kind of exploring the app, there isn't much to the app. There is one button and it's called connect. iPad or tablet complete. Put that off to the side. And what do you guys wanna start with? My Mac or the PC? All right, let's do we have a coin. My computer, okay. I haven't had this many devices on this table. I don't know if it's going to clap. So really quickly, let's go into Google Chrome, internet browser of choice, T-W-O-M-O-N-U-S-B. And there we go. Here you can see the multitude of platforms that's actually available. So you see PC program download by app for Google Play, Mac program download, and buy app for the App Store. So right now we're just gonna download it for Mac. There we go. So the app's running both on the Mac and the iPad. Now there's only one thing left to do. Lucky for me, I come prepared more times than not, and I brought the cable. As, moment of truth, plugs in, hit connect. Doo -doo. And we're running, and everything seems to be working fine. Let's see the lag, wow. There is none. This is quick. This is uh, really quick actually. Wow, let's see if I can drag it over. No, that's nice, that's really good. Okay, let's go over some of the specs, features, kind of things that make this app superior than potentially some of the others. So this app here takes full accountability that is on the iPad or a tablet. What I mean by that is it takes full kind of power of touch so you can use your finger like you normally would on a tablet that's running, I don't know, an OS, if you will. Takes into account the multi-gesture feature of the iPad. So for instance, there's a few ways you can have this set up. You can have it extended like I do right now, or you can have it mirrored like a standard, you know, like projector in a classroom kind of ordeal. All you do to kind of make that happen, rather than going all the way into your settings, it's as simple as three fingers, tap and swipe, and now you're having duplicate of the monitors. I mean, how sweet is that? Okay, let's go back to the extended just because I'm a huge fan of that. So the first thing I did was Google some of the specifications that this thing can kind of push out. The first one that kind of jumped to my face was 60 FPS. Like, let, let me say that again, 60 FPS. That's gamer status. Like, I mean, you're not running no Diablo, but you can still game. Another thing I really, really want to emphasize, this is like the fourth time I've said this in this video, is the multi-platform so the fact that we can have an Android tablet hooked up with our Mac is crazy. Or the fact that we can have our iPad hooked up to a PC, maybe even a Surface Book, I mean, that's gonna be, that is irony to its best. But the fact that we can do that is amazing. And welcome to the world of PC. A forbidden land for some. Password, honestly, is password. I got him to change it, he had a really complicated one. So he's a Barcelona fan, don't judge him. I know, I don't care for football either. It's a it's fine. What we have to do again is go to Chrome, type in Tumon USB, hit enter. First link off of Google. Okay, this is the first time I've done this in a while. 
PC program download. What the heck is an exe file? This is like a forbidden fruit right here. Apple cable into Mr. Dell here. Okay, the app is running now on the PC and let's make sure it's running on the iPad. And the moment of truth, this to me is like a bridge of the future. PC communicating with Mac or Apple is kind of, I'm a little bit frightened to be honest. Okay, so we just got an error message, error. Um, iTunes needs to be installed for this bridge to work. So let me quickly download iTunes. Okay, everything should be installed. iTunes, I'm looking at. <sighs> Let's trust it just to be sure. I'm nervous. Are you nervous? Wow, holy, Where, which way am I going? Wow, it actually worked. This is a PC, this is an iPad. It's weird that iTunes, you know, like it's top right corner to close it, but the, it works. No lag. Wow, this is great. Well, let, let's watch a YouTube video here, huh? Mark here with another video, and today we have something exciting. I'm sure you guys know what it is. Maybe you don't, but if you do, I hope you're excited with me. There you guys have it. A bridge between PC and Apple. I'm surprised. And it works the other way around as well. If you have a Mac computer and an Android tablet, that will also communicate with itself. That's crazy. That is crazy. So there it is. An app that allows you to communicate with your iPad to a PC and with an Android tablet to your Mac computer. That to me is bonkers. All right, so that was the Tumon USB app. If you guys are interested, all the links are down below as always. Thanks again, shout out to the guys and gals over there. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one. But more importantly, please follow me on all of my social media links. Again, you know where they are, down in the description. But for now, thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one. Today I have the Nintendo Switch. Okay, so I downloaded a game that needs two players. Who won? So that was the Nintendo Switch.